HubSpot email marketing tutorial how to use HubSpot for email marketing hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be showing you how to use HubSpot for email marketing how we can create professional email marketing campaigns using HubSpot so let's get started first what you have to do is you will simply go to hubspot.com and you will land on this platform right here HubSpot is all-in-one platform that allows us to do CRM, we have our own sales dashboard, and we also get our own email marketing. So to get started with HubSpot, all you have to do is simply click on this option right here, which says get free a CRM HubSpot. You can simply sign up for HubSpot with your Google account, or you can simply add your first name, last name, and email address. That's it. You can get started with the free version. I will simply go ahead and sign into my HubSpot. After the initial sign up, this is where you will get, this is our main dashboard that we get on HubSpot. So you can see we have different dashboards that we can actually go for. We have contact, conversations, marketing, sales, services, automation, and reports. So in marketing, we will be able to find email right here. This is where we will be able to create our own email marketing campaigns. And because this tutorial focuses on how to do email marketing with HubSpot, so that is why we're going to simply work here. Once you get to email marketing, you will be able to find all of your previous campaigns and emails that you have created. To create a new one, you will find the option right here, which says create email now we can actually select from different templates hubspot has a lot of different templates for us and we can choose from different hundreds of templates we have welcome one simple promotion plain email and newsletter so what i will do is i will create a welcome email or maybe we can create an a plain email this is going to be similar because the editor is same for all of these different templates let's create this one and this is our main editor here we will be able to create our new email now the first thing is going to be of course adding a name for your email so let's just call it for now test email after that you can see we have this right here the preview and here whenever i hover you can see i get these boxes and i can actually edit them out the way i want to then we have our contents right here and design from here, I will be able to add different contents to my email and we can also customize the design such as buttons, dividers, templates and text style. So the first thing is going to be this is the company logo and this is not what I want to add. What you can do is you can upload any logo right here, your company logo that you have actually created or you can just simply remove this one. What I will do is I will click on replace and then you will be able to insert image that you have added to your HubSpot from here and you can select from your folders. We can also actually go ahead and design a logo directly with Canva. We have the Canva integration in HubSpot. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it be. It's okay because we're just creating a test email. Then we have this main content right here. So we have this text right here and you can see I can of course edit the text. Let's go ahead and edit it out. You can simply go ahead and delete any of the text and then type in your text. We can of course edit the font and everything. We can actually make it bold if we want to. We have different fonts to choose from. We have different styles and alignment. Uh, you will simply type in your text, delete the text that is already there in the template. We can also go ahead and edit this section with this option right here and it will allow me to edit the bottom spacing top spacing background type color if you want to change the color like the body color you can just simply go ahead and change it you can see right here then we can also add different contents to our email so you can see we just have text so i want to add an image all you have to do is drag the image option and drop it wherever you want to and it will be added right here now i can just simply click on select image and select image that I have. There you go. It will be added here. Now I can again edit this section. I can actually change the length and width and that's what I'm going to do. And you can see the size will be changed. Similarly, I can change the background. I can apply different settings from here. Once you're done, you simply click on done. After that, I can again add my socials. Let's add my socials to my email right here. So what you can do is simply drag it and drop it where you want to. And you will see my socials will be added here. 
So we have Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. If I want to add another one, simply click on this icon, select the network. So we don't have YouTube here, right? So simply click on YouTube, add the URL for your YouTube channel, and it will be added right here. And when people will receive this email, they will be able to check all of your socials. We can simply, you know, click on the socials. And again, we can go to Facebook now and click on add it. And then we can also add videos and divider. Divider is really important. We can actually divide different sections and it helps us to kind of like organize our email. So um, this is how you will simply design your email and it looks really professional. You can add pictures, videos, you can add different content to your email right here. We can also change the design. We can change template. We can change the buttons that we have added to our email right here. So once you're done with editing, what you can do is you can move on to settings. So in settings, what you have to do is you will be able to find the subject line right here. So what you have to do is you can add a subject line. So for now, I'm just going to write welcome email. Then we have a preview text. We can select the language and we can also select a subscription type. So these are the different settings we can do. The next thing is going to be send or schedule. So in here, we add our recipients send to in here you will be able to select all of your different contacts that you have added so i will simply go ahead and select the contents to whom i actually want to send uh, this so you will simply select all of these different contacts or maybe you can select a list as well if you have created a list you can see right here import a list of contacts so what i can do is i can actually import a subscription list or a contact list from my spreadsheet from any of the different platform and it will be easier for me to add it right here we don't have to go ahead and add different subscribers or different email addresses individually then we have don't send to option as well. For example, in a list, there are people who don't want to send this email to, or maybe there are lists that you don't want to send the email to. So what you can do is you can simply select any of these different contacts and the email will not send to these contacts here. So now we have selected the recipients and you can see we can send this email to 2000 people. So we can send now or we can schedule it for later. If you want to schedule for later, you can simply select the date and time. So for now, I'm just going to click on schedule for later and let's go ahead and just add a time and date. Okay, perfect. Now, all you have to do is click on send test email because this is the name for our email right here and it will be sent to these emails that we have added. That's it. Uh, that's how you simply go ahead and send an email. We can also get a preview. We can also save this one right here and you can simply go back to your main dashboard. The emails that you have created will be shown here. You can see this is our email that we just created. I can edit it, clone it, or maybe I can export my email to any other platform. To create a brand new email again, I can click on create email and I can also use these emails as templates. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know how to create email marketing campaigns with HubSpot. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.